This is a custom mechanical keyboard. I've never had one before, but a few months ago, some friends convinced me to buy one. Before this, I'd only occasionally browse keyboard videos and enjoy the ASMR of effortless touch typing. But what stopped me ever getting one was the fact that I typed like this. Yeah, I never learned to touch type. I used two fingers and thumbs and had to look down at the keyboard every two seconds. But I wasn't slow. Technically, I was around 60 words per minute, which put me above the world average of 40, and probably made me one of the fastest two-finger typists around. Still, it wasn't doing my new keyboard justice, so I decided to learn to touch type. For real. My goal was simple. I wanted to reach the same typing speed I was now but only by touch typing. This meant using all my fingers and never looking at the keyboard. And where better to start learning than Reddit? On the first post I found, the clear favorite was keybr.com. So I went to check it out. First impressions? It's bright. Luckily, they have a dark mode. Apart from blinding me, keybr was really cool. The principle behind the site is that it learns as you do. You start with six letters and keep typing to build your muscle memory. Meanwhile, the site is learning where you make mistakes and adjusting so you can improve faster. The more you type, the more it learns. As you get better, more letters are added in until you have the whole alphabet. When I started my first six letters, I surprised myself with an average of 35 words per minute. At this rate, I'd be done in no time. Right? Wrong. Whenever new letters were added, my average dropped. I'd bring it back up, then another letter would be added, and I'd start all over again. I pretty much stayed around 35 words per minute for the first 7 days. It wasn't until I unlocked all the letters that my speed began to improve. I had gotten used to touch typing, now it was just a matter of practice. And after 14 days, with a total of 7 hours and 55 seconds, I hit my goal of 60 words per minute. Also. It's important to note, it took me longer because I was going for an average over a session and not an individual top speed. Otherwise, I would have finished in half the time. And that was it. I can now touch type at 60 words per minute, which apparently makes me a professional level typist. To be honest, I probably could have stopped there, but it just didn't feel satisfying. I needed just a little more. With just an extra 20 words per minute, I could hit 80 and be in the green. So now I had a new goal. Break an average of 80 words per minute. Surely I could do this in another two weeks, right? Full disclosure, after I hit an average of 60 words per minute, I took a two month break. So day one was setting a new bar for myself. I was pretty sure I'd have some work to do to get back to 60, but surprisingly, I hit a new all time average of 68. After day one, I was feeling confident. I'd already almost made it to halfway and I had 13 days left. But I should have known it wouldn't be that easy, as I finished day two down at an average of 67. The next four days were a bag of mixed results. I went up and down, but couldn't break 70. The closest I got was on day six, with an average of 69.5. To keep my morale up, I really needed to end day 7 with an average above 70. I started day 7 with confidence, and my first test came out at 77 words per minute. But I was counting the average, so I had to keep it up throughout the whole session. I went up, I went down, at a point I was averaging 69 words per minute. But miraculously, I pulled through, and ended the day with an average of 74 words per minute. This meant I was past halfway, 7 days left and an average of 6 words per minute to go. With only 7 days left, I needed to make some serious improvements. So after a bit of research, I decided to make 3 changes. 1. Posture As it turns out, sitting like a gremlin with one foot up wasn't helping me type. Proper posture helps you improve significantly. And this meant a straight back and neck, planted feet, and bent arms at 90 to 100 degrees. Number 2. Focusing on accuracy, not speed. This was the game changer for me. At the moment, my accuracy was around 90%, which doesn't sound too bad, but drastically lowered my words per minute. By focusing on keeping this above 
I would make significant gains in speed over time. Finally, number three, stop reading too far ahead. This was my own tip. I was finding I made the most mistakes when I skimmed the words too fast and my fingers couldn't keep up with my eyes. When I slowed down and even sometimes mouthed out the words, my accuracy and speed increased. It looked stupid, but hey, it got results. And that was it. Three simple changes and seven days left. All I could do now was keep practicing and trust the process. On day eight, my average fell to 72 words per minute, which made sense since I just brought in three major changes. But then I surprised myself on day nine by hitting an all time high average of 77 words per minute. And that's where the improvement stopped. Somehow I just couldn't keep it together on days 10 to 12 and managed to lose an average of one word per minute a day, bringing my average down to 74 words per minute. Coming into day 13, I knew I only had two days left to cover six words per minute and hit my goal. If I didn't improve today, the challenge was pretty much over. With that in the back of my mind, I somehow pulled it together and got back up to 77 words per minute. So here I was, day 14, my last chance to hit an average of 80 words per minute. And in order to complete my challenge, I needed three words per minute. I knew I could type above 80 words per minute. My current highest was 94 and I got that on day one, but this was about consistency. I started strong with two back to back 92s, but then I started to drop below the 80 mark. Every test from then on was a back and forth above and below 80. I wasn't sure if I could keep it up but I had to keep going. When I finished the session, after 30 minutes, I tentatively checked my final average. I don't know if it was because I was out of time or if the changes I made paid off, but I'd done it. After eight hours, 36 minutes and 17 seconds, I had hit an average of 82 words per minute with a new top speed of 100. So that's that. I went from typing with only two fingers to touch typing at an average of 82 words per minute in 15 hours, 37 minutes, and 12 seconds. Could I have done it faster? Probably. But at least I'm not breaking my neck looking at the keyboard every two seconds. <laughs>